All right, welcome people. Here we go. Quick tutorial on how to get uh, a cartoon new folder into R Factor. So you've got your own team with your own name, your own display on the windows, and your own skin. So we'll get into it. Let's. Uh, we've got the template here. We're going to open up both these, the FGX and the the, um, the windows. So we're going to open both of those up in R Factor. I mean um, Photoshop. Uh, yeah, factor. So there we go. We've got the skin template and we've got the window template. So we're going to do so both of them at the same time. We're going to do this rather quickly just because uh, it's more about not Photoshop. It's more about getting the getting the game happening with your uh, your own team. So anyway, I've got my templates here as well. My uh, logos. We're going to put on the car. I'll just slide those off onto my other screen over there for the moment because I've got three screens that we're working on. Um, so for starters, we're going to go, as you do, new layer, paint, yeah, I'm not going to worry about the colour, bang, dark blue, there it is. save this as a DDX file. So back into this folder again. We go down, we're going to add a DDS FGX template, but we're going to label it the right thing. We're going to call it uh we're going to well let's let's say this team name is Bob. So we'll just call it Bob underscore and then we're going to call it alt for the alternate alternate skin and that's in that so we'll save it into that folder and it's going to be ddx5 and save just bring me folder back over here you can see it's thinking about it and creating the uh, dds folder for the skin and there it is bob alt dds All right, let's get into the um, the windows. Oop. So we'll just get rid of that one. Now yeah, we're into the windows, and all we need to do here is is we've got stuff uh, as you see. You can cycle through things. This is the main one we want here. The ducks. Let's just get rid of the ducks. But if you can open these folders up, you can see that you've got all the different ducks for the different positions on the car. We're just going to bugger those off. I don't want them. And extras. We can get rid of all the extras. Uh, in fact, actually, we will. We're just going to get rid of FVR logo. And there's a front, that front strip, Ajax. There we go. Front lower strip. We're going to get rid of that. Um, we'll get rid of the uh, FVR.com on the front, make it our own. So once we've got rid of those, we can just flatten those uh, folders out. Don't need them. And what are we name and numbers. Let's open this one up. And here we go, name left, see, you can see there, down the bottom, driver name. Instead of clicking on here, we're just gonna click right here. And I'm gonna go, Bob. Done, name right. Double click on that and we'll go Bob. There we go. Now we're going to do my numbers 69, 69, 69, and the last one 69. There we go. There's that. I'm not going to go into the shaders and all the rest of the stuff for uh, layers, but uh, there it is. Basically, now we're going to uh, do the same. I just want to make sure that. All the uh, yeah, 
players are correct we're all in there everything's selected that we uh, we need and we'll do the same with this one uh, we're going to flatten the image bang and now we're going to save it same again as a DDS file and now we're going to name it Bob Alt and then we're going to in capital letters X window and that is how we label the window file for the game to accept it and we'll go save same again DDX5 you can see over here that's making the um, window template and there it is so now we've got the two files that we need to make a mass file let's uh, get this into the game so open up your R factor right here oh, R factor uh, let's start it up we've got our uh, folder here we've got everything going we'll just go into the game we're going to go and uh, create the directory for a new team for Bob okay let's have a look there yeah, we're going to pick our car it's basically when you're in here if you are factor mods if we're doing the um, v8 supercars 2016 i'm just going to pick this one down here because i don't think i've created one off that and then we go to tuning and now we're in tuning we're going to create directory i'm going to click on that and uh, we're going to go reload then we go down here and click on it now there's it says alternate skin we've got it created so let's create the, uh, the folder now so new driver name is bob and team name or oh, car description bob's car I don't know why it doesn't do that, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the team name to be generated, but we've got car number 69. Uh, there it is, so uh, we've got two team name. Bob's driving team. That'll do. And accept. Now, if we jump out of here, we can go back. Look, there it is, Bob's car go back in and have a look but it's going to have the same skin that it did before but uh, it gives you the directory here user data player settings fgr supercars fg bob so i'm just going to jump out of the game for a sec so right back in here now we've got uh i'm going to uh, get this skin into the game so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the mass utility and we're going to uh, start that up and grab these two folders chuck them into here and then we're going to go file and then we're going to go save as and we're going to go into r factor 2 we're going to go to that folder that was created so that would be user data player settings and we'll look for the fgx and actually it's in the fg folder and there is Bob right there and I'm just going to call it Bob so let's have a look now that should have uh, if we go into that R factor folder it's so one thing I forgot to do and when we uh, labeled it was to actually label this bob underscore alt mass file and that should be it so we've got bob alt bob alt and bob alt x window and look there it is cars and window in game bob all done so that's how you uh, create a car and skin and make a folder for your new team and driver well thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you later so yeah